Hey everyone, it's with Plain Love Nikki, and today I'm gonna show you how to get a better score in questing. I'm gonna use stage 8s2 here as an example because I'm farming the coffee milk tea. So I'm gonna enter here. Oh, what's so great about this game is that it doesn't consume your stamina until you tap get dressed. So you'll see me enter and exit here a lot. First up, Momo's tips will be your best friend. Listen to Momo's S tips especially because he's gonna tell you the 5 attributes you need to get a good score. There are 10 attributes total but only 5 per stage. And let me show you the attributes right here. They are gorgeous versus simple. Elegance versus lively, mature versus cute, sexy versus pure, and warm versus cool. So gorgeous and simple are complete opposites of each other. So you will not find an item with both gorgeous and simple. The same with elegance and lively, mature and cute, sexy and pure, and warm and cool. So as you can see, I'm trying to search an item that's both warm and cool, but the game is not letting me. So, to find what the 5 attributes are, you want to check Momo's suggestions, preferably one without a tag. I'll go over tags later on. So under S tips, you want to, I'll do the first one, pretty black lady. It only shows two attributes here, elegance and pure. What gives? So to find out the remaining three attributes, you need to go into your wardrobe. Do the search right here, type in the name, which is pretty. Cool. Select pretty black lady, I mean pretty lady black, sorry, ah! and go to attributes. So these are the five attributes you will need to get the points for this stage. So they are simple, elegance, cute, pure, and warm. So if you go back to Momo's tips, all the other items he suggests are going to have these five attributes too, which is why Momo's tips are so helpful. I'm going to do rainy day just to show you. So I'm going to look it up in the wardrobe. Type in rainy. And there it is. Simple, elegance, cute, pure, and warm. Now if you don't have any items with those 5 attributes in a clothing category, Momo will suggest you the next best thing, like an item with 4 out of 5 matching attributes that can also get you a good score. An example is, okay I know I have an item right here. My socks, kid unknown. I'm gonna search this up in the wardrobe. you okay as you can see everything is matching except it's cool instead of warm that's completely okay because you'll get points for the four attributes except for cool okay so momo gave me these great suggestions but that darn cat didn't suggest me any earrings or wings or backgrounds or foregrounds no worries. So to find the right accessories to match these 5 attributes, your wardrobe is going to be your best friend. But first, let's look at the accessories. I'm gonna do face. Okay, so what I do is search for the attributes simple, elegance, cute, and pure, two at a time. I suggest searching warm solo because not a lot of items have the warm on the main tag. And as you can see, I have none. Same as the cool attribute, if you want to search for a cool item, search cool just by itself. I'm going to start off with simple and pure. Alright, talent view. Remember this item to check your wardrobe if it has the matching attributes. So you can hold it down right here. If you don't have a lot of items under face, you can just like hold it down and you would be able to see the attributes. But I have like, I think over a thousand items. So this is what I like to do to organize. But yeah, there are easy ways, but this is my way. Okay, so I'm going to search the other attributes 2x2. Two two. Okay, nothing there too. Pure and elegance. Wait, oh, I didn't open it. Uh, I'm going to do pure and elegance again. There it is. Okay, 
reading glasses. Oh, I just wanted to clarify that the reason I'm doing it this way is because I can filter out any items that don't have these five attributes. Like, I don't care about sexy and mature right now, but like I said earlier, there are many ways to search for the items, but this is the way that I'm used to doing, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So one more pair, elegance and cute. Okay, nothing for elegance and cute. So my only two items that matches these attributes were talents view and reading glasses. So I'm going to check my wardrobe to see if all the attributes are there. So all right, gonna look at talents view first. Simple, elegance, cute, pure, and cool. And let me look at the other one. Simple, elegance, cute, pure, and cool. Okay, same thing. All attributes match, but instead of warm, it is cool. That is totally fine. Four out of five attributes matching is very good. Which brings me to the next question. Which one is better? Okay, let's talk weighted attributes. So those five attributes are not created equal. Some are worth more points and Momo will tell you what they are. So just go to tips and Momo says pure and elegant is is worth more that means you want the pure and elegance at ss to give you the most points so for example talent view has all a's except cool but we don't care about cool because you don't get any points for it anyway all right so the other one i'm gonna type in reading here it is so this reading glasses has S for pure, which is good. You get more points if your elegance and pure is higher grade. So I will probably go with reading glasses for the stage. You don't care about cool. And as you can see, cute is only graded as C, but it's not graded as high as the pure and elegance. So that's okay. Oh, sorry. I should have mentioned this earlier, but the attributes are graded with the letters C, B, A, S and SS with C being the absolute worst and SS being the absolute best. Okay, so let's go. I don't want to waste your time, so I already picked out an outfit using all of Mobile's suggestions and looking through my wardrobe for matching attributes. So let's go. Okay, there's warm. Simple, cute, elegance, and pure. Nice, that's a good score. S, okay, what rank is this? Oh, 309, okay, that's not bad. So there are other aspects that contribute to a high score, such as tags, and did you know that you get a penalty for equipping too many accessories? I'll talk about that next time. That's all for today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!